I'm Jody Cross, and welcome to our ongoing journey of discussing what it means to engage a broken world in a life of worship and justice. Does anyone see? Does anyone care? These are the haunting questions in Jill Hagen's song, Least of These. The lyrics of the song invite us to see hungry children, sex trade workers, orphans, homeless people, the lost, the lonely, and the imprisoned as those Jesus deeply cares about. In Matthew 9, we read, when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. David Rua says, as followers of Jesus, we cannot ignore what moved him to send out the first of his disciples, what moves him still to send us out today, compassion. Jesus wants his followers to see how he sees, feel what he feels, and go with his compassion as laborers into the harvest. Jill Hagen describes how she was exposed to the needs of starving children from World Vision's TV programs. She admits it was hard to watch that she would often turn the channel. She felt like she couldn't make a difference, so why even try? How many of us have done the same thing when seeing things we didn't know how to deal with? Well, several years passed and Jill decided to become a World Vision child sponsor. She was given a four-year-old boy from Kenya named Crispian. That summer, she went on a mission trip to Kenya and was able to meet her sponsor child. It was an unbelievable experience for her. She recalls, the little boy that I had seen on the picture card was real. The whole experience allowed Jill to see just a little bit of God's heart for the poor. In Africa, God spoke to her gently. Whatever you've done for the least of these, you've done it for me. Jill started to realize that helping the poor did more than benefit them. It was also changing her inside. She came to understand that being around those in need helped her see more of Jesus' love for the poor and outcast. The needy weren't just in Africa, but all over her city. She didn't have to go far to find them. She says, though, that she desires to see Jesus in each of the least of these. She still, sometimes still struggles to see beyond herself. The real challenge, she admits, is walking in simple obedience every day to live out God's call to the needy, to visit someone in the hospital, to talk with a homeless person or on the street. It is hard to see beyond ourselves. May God give us a greater glimpse of his heart. May he give us the grace to repent of our self-focus and our turning away from the needs of others. Ask him to help you live with his compassion. This is our love to reach out to the least of these, one life at a time. There's a little boy crying out for something more to eat And he is hungry and no one sees In a darkened room feeling like her body's not her own She's dying
Does anyone see? Does anyone? 